I'm in the middle of painting my new house, so I'm very sorry that I look messed up, but I need to talk about this. It's no secret that the my previous Batu video was a sponsored video. I flagged it as branded content and I put the tags to indicate that EA has indeed uh, paid me for making videos. Damn! What is up guys? This is your boy Superior Sermon. Today I have a discussion topic on The Sims. If you guys like news, updates, and discussions, please hit the sub button. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I also do have an affiliate link with Instagram to bring you guys cheaper Sims packs. If you guys hit the link in the description and type in Sims, you'll see a bunch of deals for The Sims 3. It's currently $1, okay? $1 and all the deals sees on a discounted price. They're cheaper than kits. Without further ado, let's get into the content. Okay, so I stumbled upon a video by another content creator his name is my name is gong so he makes sims content more specifically reviews and lore videos on the sims 4. now this video was posted two weeks ago so i'm just seeing this now now gong's went and made a journey to booty video basically hyping up the pack and his features and why people should get it now to be fair he was talking about mostly the build and buy and he did mention the controversy behind the pack being a walking advertisement for galaxy's edge and it just being a weird collaboration between the sims and star wars now, after he posted that video, there was a bunch of comments on the video, basically, you know, like same people basically like Jerry to booty and other people just hyping up the pack. Some people saying, you know, like they disagree, like the pack is shit. But there was one really crazy comment that was made on the video. And they basically said that these people will say anything with a fat check in front of them. Sims packs are horrible in general, but this one takes the cake. Now, before we get into the response of what Gong said, because he made a whole video talking about this issue. I do agree with this person when it comes to the pack itself. I don't think Journey to Booty is a good pack. Now, keep in mind, not to sound like a nerd on here, but I am a very big Star Wars like fan. Like I'm heavy into the lore. I definitely don't know everything, but I would like to think I know more than the average person when it comes to like Star Wars content. I grew up with Star Wars. I grew up watching all the movies and playing a lot of the games, not just like Star Wars Battlefront, but for those who know, like KOTOR 1 and 2, Knights of the Republic. Star Wars Your Republic, that's like the MMO that's currently going on right now. Jedi Academy, a lot of just different Star Wars games. I'm heavy into the lore, like I said. Like, I could use myself as an example to say that, like, as a Star Wars fan, me personally, I think Journey to Booty is a disrespectful, you know, Star Wars pack, Star Wars game, whatever. I don't think that is a a good representation of what star wars is in my personal opinion like the force is not even in the game bro the force is literally like the main thing when it comes to star wars and it's not even present in the pack and they have force sensitive characters in the pack that don't use force powers the whole pack in my opinion is clearly advertisement for galaxy's edge like it doesn't even make sense now despite my feelings about the pack if you feel like journey to booty is a good pack then more power to you and to be fair i'm mostly talking about the gameplay obviously with gong's video he's strictly talking about the build and buy being really cool for a lot of different types of builds so if you're having into like sci-fi or like you want something more of like fallout stuff like that then you can definitely use this pack for you know other stuff besides just the star wars gameplay or making star wars builds so that's kind of what he was saying in this video but of course someone made that comment basically saying that you know he was just hyping up the pack because he's getting a check from ea so then he went and posted this in response on tiktok he also posted this on youtube shorts i'm in the middle of painting my new house so i'm very sorry that i look messed up but I need to talk about this. It's no secret that the, my previous Batu video was a sponsored video. I flagged it as branded content and I put the tags to indicate that EA has indeed uh, paid me for making videos. Let me go ahead and be very candid. Whenever EA sponsors my videos, they do not tell me what to say. They do not force opinions on me and they do not make me have an opinion that I don't want. So you heard it here, folks. That video that he made was a video sponsored by EA, which is insane to me for a lot of different reasons. But let me just make this clear that I'm not attacking Gongs. I think he's a really cool person. He makes really good content. He makes a lot of different types of lore videos and his reviews are really cool. This highly edited good stuff. So I will leave his channel link in the description. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I heard this, I was honestly shocked. And this is part of the reason why I made this video, because it was a really good discussion topic. Me personally, I did assume that, you know, game changes were getting paid by EA. I kind of was like half joking, half serious. But obviously, this confirms that they do get paid. Don't get me wrong. I assume that they got paid, but only if they were working closely with them on like different builds for like 
you know big eps or game packs or whatever that were coming out i didn't think ea was paying these guys to make content promoting their packs i had no idea that was going on maybe i'm the dumb one that's just like living under a rock but i didn't know it, it went that far i thought it was more like if they work closely with them on packs but given the state of the sims 4 and how the game changers move very hush hush when a lot of bullshit happens it makes sense now more than ever why things are the way that they are in this community this guy is securing his bag and he gets to make sims content for a living and he gets paid for it so i'm not like bashing him for any of that i think that's a really amazing thing i hope one day i can go full time and make content um definitely on our journey to that because of you guys but i think that's amazing that he's able to do that so shout out to him for that okay let's just and again original video his channel will be in the link in the description now we hear this all the time whenever game changers do reviews on new content that ea is not like paying them to say certain things like all their opinions are their own now of course i do believe that but let's let's be honest for a second and again i'll use myself as an example it's very clear that ea is picking and choosing the type of people that they want to work with and you know promote their packs i looked at gong's channel he doesn't really say any negative thing about the ea he's definitely balanced and he's definitely fair but for the most part i would say he's a very positive person when it comes to talking about sims i don't really see any negative stuff that he says about the sims now when you look at a channel like mine you do see a lot of negative titles a lot of like ragey clickbait thumbnails and all this other types of stuff oh, he needs some milk my channel is obviously focused on basically talking bad about the sims 4 on the surface it may seem like that but anyone who knows me who's been subscribed to this channel for a minute knows that i'm very balanced that's why i assume a lot of you guys watch my videos because i try to be balanced i try to always be balanced and fair and give constructive criticism i don't believe just hating on everything and saying this is shit and this is trash is constructive because at the end of the day i feel like we all love the sims and we want the sims 4 to be a fun game but on the other side there is a lot of people who just want to see like the downfall of the sims and they love like hearing about like just the drama and stuff like that so i get there's a lot of different types of people who watch my content for like those different reasons but for the most part that's what i try to do is focus on being balanced and fair you cannot tell me that if i apply it to the game changer program that they're going to accept me so the point i'm trying to make is if gong was making the types of content that i was making or at least having really brutally honest opinions i don't think they would choose people like us to be game changers because we're not good for the brand versus someone like gongs who's a little bit more on the positive side and not going to talk about you know all the bullshit. and again this is no shots to him i'm just stating the facts so yes obviously he's not being paid by ea to say like specific things but again it's like would he still have these opportunities if he was a lot more i i, I guess like candid about the sims 4 and again please comment down below your thoughts and opinions on all this stuff because i honestly think this is like crazy for me at least because again it's like confirmation like the stuff that we were saying is actually true but it goes beyond what i thought when it came to the whole you know game changer program and, and and game changers and all this other stuff but this is where it gets even more juicy and crazy and this like proves my point of how scummy and just this disgusting ea is there's a sale going on and they wanted me to promote the sale. I had a huge list of all the packs that are there and I chose the one that I legitimately enjoy, which is Batu. EA has never forced me to do anything that I didn't want to. So to insinuate that EA is forcing me to make stuff up is insulting and it's wrong. See you guys soon. Now that's actually insane. EA told this guy to promote the sale that's going on knowing the state of the game mind you they recently just came out with a whole letter basically acknowledging the game is in a like shitty ass state but before they did all that it was crickets there was no communication they've been focusing on their their blockbuster movie and their and their shitty merchandise on the sim store and they're out here promoting they're game changers to push on sales. But again, this just proves my point and everybody else's on the fact that EA is, is a scum, bro. They're, they're a really disgusting company. You know, they're using game changers to promote sales when they know the state of the game is, is in a, a completely shitty state. That That's crazy. Like, that's wild to me. But I mean, honestly, I'm not really surprised, you know, so it is what it is again comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this video i thought it was a really good topic to talk about and again it's all love with gongs i have no ill intent with this guy i think he's a really good content creator you know i'm sorry that he had to go through this i know for him to have made this video he probably was really like obviously upset and I, again like he said in the video you know 
it was insulting he was hurt by what they said but again it does prove a lot of things that you know ea is is scum bro like it, i don't know what else to say but yeah if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you thank you so much for watching this has been your boy superior simmer stay cool stay awesome stay simming and have a good day